Welcome back to the Combo Cabal. I am your host, Bryant Cook, and today we're playing Rakdos Reanimator. The list in front of you is actually Duke 12's list that won a Legacy Challenge just a week ago, and now we're playing it today. Pretty excited about this. And I've actually played a Duke 12 list that won a challenge, I don't know, six, eight months ago, somewhere in that range. And you can find that video on the card above. Through the power of search engine optimization, that video is actually risen to the top 10, top 15 videos on this channel. Kind of wild how that works. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to be playing their list again. Their lists are very good. And I mean, obviously they won a legacy challenge. It's bound to be good. All right, so before we get into that, I would like to say that I played a Demir reanimator list just a couple weeks ago that, once again, you can find in the card above, and I didn't really care for it. I thought that Atroxa, while a really good addition to reanimator, shouldn't have been the forefront. It's more of a supplemental card to Gristlebrand. So that's one of the things I loved about this Duke 12 list. It has a single copy of Atroxa from Phyrexia All Will Be One. And if you're unfamiliar with this, it's three green, white, blue, black. Uh, so everything but red for a legendary Phyrexian Angel that's a 7-7. Seven, seven. has Flying, Death Touch, Lifelink, and Vigilance. I had to cheat and look at the last one. And then when it enters the battlefield, you look at the top 10 cards of your deck. You put a card of each type from those cards to your hand. The rest go on the bottom in a random order. So this is a nice supplement to Gristlebrand. But ultimately, I think that Black Red Reanimator or Rakdos Reanimator is a better shell because I think that having Unmask and Grief to protect your combo is just better than Force of Will for the most part. Because you can use Unmask to target yourself, which means that turn one reanimate on your Gristlebrand or Atroxa or even our kind of cruelty happens more often. And that's really what we're looking to do. If you've never seen this deck before, it's actually, I don't want to say simple, but the idea is, you know, not the craziest thing in the world. So you pretty much just want to get creatures through your graveyard. So we have Faithless looting a card banned out of modern. One red, draw two, discard two as flashback. So you want to discard our kind of cruelty or re or gristle brand. And it really matters on the matchup. Our kind of cruelty is not legendary, so Caracas doesn't affect it, which is pretty important in my opinion. And we also have Entomb to get creatures to the graveyard. I also mentioned unmasking yourself, or even you can go straight to the discard step. So just don't play a land, don't do anything, just go to discard. On your second turn, play land reanimator is another strategy you can do. We have some fast mana to help us out with Dark Ritual and Lotus Petal. And then we have 12 reanimate effects. Reanimate itself, animate dead, a classic from Alpha Beta, and then Exhum, a pauper all-star in my opinion. So that is the main deck. You'll notice that it's not true Rakdos. There's two Badlands, one Scrubland, one Underground Sea. And that's for these cyborg cards we're about to talk about. Serenity clears Leyline of the Void and Chalice of the Void and all the Void cards and whatever else is stopping you from winning the game. We have Chancellor of the Annex to bring in versus fast combo decks when we're on the draw. I mean, or just on the play. I mean, it's for the speed matchups. Uh, show and tell to get around Graveyard Hate once again. Very macabre for the mirror match. Snuff out for, honestly, initiative, but I'm not expecting that deck to be as important in the post-ban world, but you never know. And because of that, we do have snuff outs. And then a couple copies of Wear Terror. Once again, those are to supplement the Serenities and just answer some hate cards that are stopping us from winning. Uh, that's my deck talk. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked Duke 12's list. But for now, I kind of wanted to just hop on in and play some Legacy Magic the Gathering. So if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, whatever, put those down below. And if you came here through SEO, put down below what you searched. I'd really be interested in knowing that. Um, yeah, so I will see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, early access to videos, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us like theepicsforum.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via theepicsforum.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to match number one. We're on the draw. Here we have, you know, a grief, some large creatures. We don't have a way of putting them onto the battlefield or even a way of getting them to the graveyard. So we're going to take a mulligan. Okay, so here we have the unmask our own Atroxa, put it into play strategy. So we will keep this. 
Uh, we even have... I mean, we could also Thought Seize for protection. I think you're supposed to bottom a swamp here. Pretty excited about this. What are you on, Tarzan of the Jungle? Once upon a time? Okay. Generally, these matchups are good for us, but we'll see what our opponent's playing. A Glimmer Post. Okay, so maybe not. Elvish Reclaimer. We do have a turn one fatty here. Draw. Badlands. Okay. So we'll play out the swamp and unmask targeting us. Remove the thought seize. Discard Atroxa and then reanimate the Atroxa. Atroxa will trigger. So now we get to put a card of each type. So we'll take Verdant Catacombs, Archon of Cruelty, Faithless Looting. Dark Ritual. Uh, so we've already covered Sorcery, I believe. Because we're taking the looting to get the Archon to the graveyard. So I believe that's everything. Done. Okay, so that was a draw four. Not bad. They play the Glimmer Post that they revealed off the Once Upon a Time. Okay, we pick up an Underground Sea. Let's go to combat and swing with the Atroxa. So they're likely a Bazooka Bog deck. It's something to keep in mind because if we allow them to, like, let's say we just go Lango, uh, this Elvish Reclaimer actually represents a problem because it gets Karakas and bounces the Atroxa, and then they have Bajuka Bog up for the rest of the game. So I think we just need to buy time with this Atroxa a little bit longer and force them here to bog away the Archon of Cruelty. Okay, so we're going to discard the Archon here. Okay. Play Lotus Petal. It's a shame I didn't draw in Tomb with this Exhum in hand. That would have been very powerful. And now we're going to force them to bog us. Okay, so they activate the Elvish Reclaimer. And there's the bog. So this bought us one more attack step with the Atraxa. Unfortunately, our Faithless Looting does get exiled. We're really looking to draw an in Tomb. That would probably be our best draw. They play a Yavamaya. Okay, they have four cards in hand. Let's see an Entomb, please. Draw, unmask. We'll go to combat here. They have crop rotation. That's a bummer. So they can get Caracas. Yep. So, I mean, they could have just used the Reclaimer there, but they didn't. Let's unmask them and see if they have anything I'd like to pick up with the... Uh, the animate dad hmm i mean they just have it all guess we take the excavator i'm not going to waste the enemy dead on an excavator we'll pass they sacrifice the bazooka bog break cloud post so when we look at this game and i'm not trying to bash atroxa i promise but if we had a gristle brand in place of that atroxa there there's a there's a very good chance we won this game uh, because we would have been able to draw 14 on the first turn. Instead, we have the random one of that isn't as powerful, in my opinion. And uh, now we're paying the price. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just out of this. I'll take one more draw step just to make sure. Yeah, okay, let's go to game two. Unfortunate. Okay, so we're facing green. They likely have endurance. I don't know about uh, Leyline of the Void or anything like that. I feel like those decks usually don't play. Leyline of the Void. Kind of interested in show and tell just in case. We're going to board out the Atroxa. I don't think we want it. Well, I guess they're a Needle deck. So if they have Needle on Gristlebrand, maybe I want it. We're going to board out two copies of Animate Dead. We did see Outland Liberator. What to do? Two more cards need to come out. We're going to board out two Thoughtseize. It's. I don't really. It's like Thoughtseize or it's Dark Ritual. Um. So Thought Seize is good at beating Endurance, but we're already bringing in Show and Tell for that. And something has to be boarded out, so that's my game plan. Could also just say no Animate Deads versus the Liberator deck. Let's try that. Game 2, on the play this time. I mean, this is good. We'll keep. Play a Marsh Flats, we'll fetch. Grab. Badlands. Let's start off with the thoughts he's targeting them. Fairy Macabre, Caracas. So we'll take the Fairy Macabre. 
past the turn. So we'll be putting Gristlebrand into play, but they'll already have Caracas in hand. So we get a free draw seven. They play a map, sure. Draw for turn and tomb. So I could just go get our kind of cruelty instead. Maybe I'll do that. Kind of thinking that maybe I want to hide the blue splash. So let's get a basic Ellen Tomb. Search up Archon of Cruelty. Reanimate on the Archon. Long pause here. Did you draw another Fairy Macabre and or Endurance? No. And now we're off to game number two. Love it. All right. Submit. Good board in Chancellor in this matchup as well, but I don't think it's particularly good versus the quad post strategy. Yeah, I mean, we just need to draw a black card, and this is turn one, our kind of cruelty with discard backup. Keep. Once upon a time. You have a Maya Cradle of Growth, they play it. Elvish Reclaimer. Draw for turn. We didn't draw it. Oh, we needed a black card there. So if I wait to put in our kind of cruelty, they have Bajuka Bog live next turn. We have to risk it, I think. We'll fetch. They are not F6. Play out a Lotus Petal. And Tomb. Pick up the Archon of Cruelty. Reanimate it. I mean, you're forced to take this play. You might be saying, why not wait? Uh, and they have Endurance. Beautiful. So you can wait, but your opponent then has Elvish Reclaimer alive for the rest of this. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to board and slaughter, uh, not slaughter packed, um, snuff out because of this, but it's just really brutal. And we didn't draw the black card for the grief, unfortunately. And so we drew a land four in our 14 land deck. We're likely out of this land five. Once upon a time, they pick up a Vesuva. They have maze of Ith in hand. Might as well fetch. Draw for turn and tomb. Play a Badlands and pass. They sacrifice the Maze of Ith. Three Cloud Post. They have three cards in hand. We know one of them is Vesuva. Another Cloud Post. Okay. Draw for turn. Another land. You're killing me. Let's fetch again. Cast Grief. Grief triggers. Merkle the Promised End. We'll take that. They pick up Cloud Post number three. They play the Vesuva, so they have roughly infinite mana. Green Sun for Primeval Titan, most likely. Yeah, I mean, X equals eight, sure. There's Prime Time. They pick up an Eye of Ugin and another Cloud Post. So next turn, they have Emrakul, the Aeon's Torn, and I believe I just lose. Draw for turn, it's Reanimate. We know their last card. I don't believe we do. I mean, we can go big here and hope that our opponent drew the, um, the Bajuka Bog, but that's pretty much the only way we could possibly win this. I could try to reanimate their Emrakul, the Promised End, but we're not casting it, so that actually doesn't help us all that much. The so Will and Tomb, go grab Gristlebrand, reanimate the Gristlebrand. They use the Elvish Reclaimer. Surprise, surprise. Okay, I'm willing to concede this one. Unfortunately, we're starting this league off 0-1. and one. This entire match came down to us not drawing a green card for a first draw step. Unfortunate. We flooded out a little bit, but sometimes that happens in Magic. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the Epic epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Round number two on the play. We're lacking a creature, but we can double grief. I think I'm in. Grief pitching enemy dead. Okay. We are facing initiative. I think I want that seasoned dungeoneer. Okay. And now we're going to reanimate it. 
Reanimate your seasoned dungeoneer. This is how I do. We'll go get a basic swamp. Thank you for the threat. Pass the turn. Cavernous souls. And now they're passing. Okay, the initiative, our creature will gain... Uh, we'll forge. It will gain two plus one plus one counters. We'll draw for turn. Another grief? Okay. So we will pitch the thought seize. Now we're going to take their other season. I am the initiative deck. No one forget that. Let's take a case, uh, chaos adventure. Bill Gallagher rolling uh, over in his not existing grave right now. I am initiative. <laughs> Trap you. Oh, our opponent didn't want to play. That's that's a shame. Oh, that's so bad. Um, darn. Okay, so let's board in the snuff outs. We probably want Wear Terror and Serenity. 66 cards. Likely don't need Thought Seize in this matchup. Those can go out. And Enemy Dead. Let's try this. Game 2. That game made this league worth it for me. I mean, this isn't bad, but we need to hit a creature off of Faithless Looting. I'll try it. No Leyline of the Void. Big fan. Ancient Tomb. Lotus Petal. Archon of Amiria. No one likes that card. Let's play a Grief. Pitching Exhume. We will take the Fable. Pass the turn after that. We'll take two going to 18. Unlike Storm Combo, we are able to beat this Archon of Amiria, assuming that I draw into a creature. All right, Monkey Beatdown is the plan for them. Faithless Looting. We did not draw a creature. Okay, we'll get rid of a wear tear and a dark ritual. Pass the turn. So we'll take four here, going to 14. City of Traitors. Draw. Let's Faithless Looting. There is an Archon! Hell yeah. Let's select the Archon if it will let me. Come on. Nope. There we go. Dark ritual down as well. Play the land. Pass the turn. So now they're swinging for four. We go to ten. They're passing two cards in hand. Fetch. We're going to get a basic because we'll come into play untapped. Basic swamp. Exhume. Return Archon of Cruelty. Like I said, this game was still very winnable for us. And then we draw Gristle Daddy. Beating Archon of Amiria is just one of my favorite things. I hate that card so much. Get out of here. We've come back. We're one and one. Round three coming up. With Card Hoarder, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as seven tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Match three, run the draw. So we do have a hand that we can unmask ourselves and then on turn two, exhume or animate dead. I generally think these sort of hands are better on the play or even on turn one, but turn two is just too slow, so we'll mulligan. This hand has everything we could want other than a reanimate effect, and I think that's allowed, so we'll bottom a lotus petal here. We have 12 hits on turn one. Let's see what we can do. Looted delta or underground sea. Thought sees me all you want. You can also just turn one dark ritual into grief, but that runs into days. They take the entomb. Interesting. I mean, that's probably just right. Who knows? We drew the enemy dead, one of our 12, so they did make the right call. I think I'm going to pitch the dark ritual rather than try to hard cast and run into a daze. Okay, grief. Children's edict. So they're just on Grix's control. I think we're priced into taking Edict here. Wish I would have Dark Ritual now. I thought this was Doomsday. And I didn't want to run into Days. Am I supposed to animate my Grief? I don't know. I think I'm going to do it, but I don't love it. And then we'll take Brainstorm, leaving them with a Ponder, a Land, and a Blank. They play the Ponder. They shuffle and play Mountain. Okay. Draw for turn. 
swing with grief and then post combat we're going to play this polluted delta so you might be saying why not hold it your opponent doesn't have perfect information and that's fair but these grixis control decks are often him to torok decks and you don't want to lose your land they play and activate a scalding charm our set okay another shieldred's edict i think we might have lost this one okay we'll go to the next game a real bummer all right so on the play i think we want chancellor to protect against force of will um let's get rid of the atrox i think i also don't hate show and tell here we'll board out the enemy dead Against the slower deck, it also might be better to just board out Dark Rituals and just have more things like enemy dead in your deck. Let's try this. Game two on the play versus Grixis. There's no protection, but I think I'm going to keep it. They have kept seven. Burden to pass. Scalding Tarn. We'll fetch four underground C. This does tip our hand a little bit, because now they know that there's a reason we sided in blue. Grab the gristle. Draw for turn. It's a grief. That was actually a very good draw. Pitch enemy dead. Um, yeah, we'll pitch the enemy dead. Okay, grief on the stack. They force it. Pitching brainstorm. Exhum. So even if they surgical gristle brand here, I'm still getting back a grief. Or cling to dust. Sure. Grief. What? <laughs> uh, we'll take the Shieldred's Edict. Pass the turn. They play the island. If I could draw a discard spell, I can take their Caves of Chaos adventure. So we know that they have Scalding Tarn here. Draw for turn. Another Grief. Unfortunately, that is not a discard spell that I can take the Caves of Chaos adventure with. We have to pass. Hope that they don't play it. They fetch down to 14 for an underground sea. They play a mountain, so they do have it. And now they're going to play the Caves of Chaos Adventure. Okay. They pick up a basic island. Draw for turn. I can show and tell into grief. I don't know if that's the best move, but we have it. I'm worried that I'm not going to be able to race this. I've already played my land for turn. I think I am supposed to show and tell. It feels bad, though. We know that they have at least an island. They put in Fable. Oh, come on. That's brutal. Okay. Brutal. They're at 11. Next turn, when I steal back the Undercity, would pump my creatures. I can actually block the Caves of Chaos Adventure. And then reanimate it. I think that might be the move. Okay. It's worth noting that they don't have the lands in hand any in hand anymore because of the fable. So they do have three unknowns. Ponder, okay. Oh, they have Cling to Dust active. Does Cling to Dust say any graveyard? <sighs> Thoughtsies. Ah. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Snapcaster Mage, wow. Not feeling so hot right now. Your thoughts he's again. Yep. Uh we drew the fatty. So we'll swing. This time we go to forge, so our creature gets larger. And then they swing for six plus trap. So the five, so that they're two damage short of lethal at the moment. Although Fable transforms. So we'll do forge. Uh, so they can double block next turn with the Snapcaster and the Fable, and then stabilize that way. All right, we see a reflection of Kiki Jiki on the battlefield. They swing. Okay, so they're giving me a window here if they don't have it. Um. Okay. This puts me to two. They have a cling to us that can gain three life here, but that's not enough to win. Ah, the Baleful Strix. Okay. That is enough to stop the grief. Draw for turn. Reanimate. What does that do? I mean, I'm at two, so not much. I guess if we could have drawn Animate Dead, that would have won the game with the Caves of Chaos Adventure. We just have to hope that they don't block, I guess. Swing. Okay. 
And no matter what I target, I'm dead here. So let's target the Caves of Chaos Adventure, I guess. All right, one and two, womp womp. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, we're on the draw, so we could take a risk here and hope to draw in Tomb or a large creature to Thoughtseize, but I think you're supposed to just leverage the London Mulligan and take, you know, a Mulligan. All right, so no reanimate effect in this hand. We'll go to five. So this is turn one double grief. I think we keep that. Underground C. Duress. Exhume down. Draw for turn. Gristlebrand. Let's grief. They're on Doomsday. Take the Street Wraith, I guess. Pass the turn. They play the other Underground Sea, then pass. Draw. Another Lotus Petal. We'll pass back. Only five more mana, and we can cast this Grizzlebrand. Only. Draw for turn. There we go. All right, one more Dark Ritual. And our opponent needs to not cast Duress. Okay, you can discard my Dark Ritual. All right, they're casting Personal Tutor, so they have Doomsday on top. One unknown card in hand. Faithless Looting? Uh, not quite. Okay, so they've exiled their deck, and now we just need to draw Looting to possibly even be in this. We'll fetch. Come on, deck, please. That doesn't do it. So I could animate the Grief. But we know that they just have, like, Dark Ritual in hand, and any pile they've made probably just wins. Doesn't matter. Yep. Just a classic Cycler pile. And then they'll Edge of Autumn again into Thassa's Oracle. That'll do. So we've lost game number one to Doomsday. They're a deck that boards into four copies of Force Negation, and then has two Ley Lines and usually one Artifact in the board. So we want the Wear Tear. That is certainly something we're interested in. Chancellor of the Annex is also fine. Our kind of cruelty isn't as good in this matchup, so we can probably get rid of those. Uh, that brings us down to 60. And I think I'm okay with that. Let's submit. Okay, game two. We have another uh, grief hand here. I think I'll keep this one. All right, turn one grief, pitching unmask. We will take the Doomsday. We might be saying they have Personal Tutor. Why not take Dark Ritual? I'd rather just make sure that I'm not... Like, dark. yes, they can Personal... That hand was lacking a blue source. Like, there's a lot of things wrong with that hand. Personal Tutor does pitch to the force as well, but I'm okay if they want... Oh, why, why did I not play a land? Ah, too busy talking. That was bad. That was very bad. Whoops. That might have just cost me very badly. Yikes. That was just awful. We'll pitch the Dark Ritual. Discard the Dark Ritual. <sighs> can't believe I didn't play my land. That was so bad. You know that they're drawing Doomsday here and can't cast it. What they can do is hard cast Force and Negation on my Animate Dead. Okay, so we're going to play Animate Dead on Grief. Yep. Pass. Yeah, so we're... They have one card in hand is Doomsday. Dark Ritual or Cabal Ritual are the only cards that get them to cast that. So they have three Dark Rituals left. Any animate spell like this one puts us ahead. Okay. Bye, Doomsday. We'll pass. I played out the land there to avoid Flusterstorm, by the way. I probably should have narrated that. Exhume. We know that they just have Force of Will in hand. I'm down for making the clock a little bit faster. Okay. Another land. So if they draw Doomsday, they can cast it, but we are the beat down. Swing better, better. Swing. The Black Delver Secrets, AKA Grief. Let's uh, not throw game number three by not playing a land. Not allowed to keep this. Mulligan. This is decent. No protection spell, no way to get Gristlebrand to the graveyard. We have a wear tear, which is kind of nice, but is that good enough? They mulligan to five. 
I'm going to keep this because if they're mulliganing to ley line, I like having wear tear. All right, so they've kept a five card hand with no ley line. Underground C, duress. Reanimate down. Okay. Entomb. That's a good one. So we're allowed to play this into days. Most lists play one to two copies of days. I don't know if we want to take that risk, but it's something we can do. They have four cards. Grab Badlands. Let's see if Entomb resolves. It does. Grab Gristlebrand. They are an 8 4 stack. Play Lotus Petal to avoid days. Attempt an enemy dead. Force of Negation. Okay. Well, we have a creature in the graveyard. We still have 10 other reanimate effects in our deck. Draw. Let's unmask them to see what they're working with here. Oh. <laughs> uh, yikes. Well, we'll take Force of Will. This is a scary spot to be in. They drew Ponder. Okay. They're looking for Dark Ritual. They did not shuffle. They play a land. So we know that their hand is two copies of Doomsday. Reanimate? No such luck. I mean, they have to have Doomsday this turn if they kept the Ponder. Yep. So we have 10 hits, 48 cards in deck. On deck, pretty please. There we go. Grosser Brand. And now we draw seven down to four. Okay, that was good. We'll play the Swamp, Faithless Looting, Discard Atroxa, and the Wear Terror. Dark Ritual, Dark Ritual, Enemy Dead on the Atroxa. And now we look at the top 10, put a card of each type. So this actually doesn't help us. We can do land, creature, sorcery, instant. Oh, there's an Entomb. I read that is three copies of Exhum. Entomb is good here. My bad. Uh, we'll take that. And now we'll cast Entomb and go get Chancellor. They should be able to not be able to win through the Chancellor this turn. And then we'll Exhum the Chancellor. Grief Pitching Thoughts, he's to take the final Doomsday in their hand. This just shuts off any Brainstorm pile they could possibly have. And now we'll pass the turn. Wow. Okay. That was a pretty good turn for us. So they play Oracle, and it's countered by the Chancellor. We got it. We are now 2-2, two and two, one match left to go. Want early access to articles at theepicstorm.com? Become a member of our patron to get articles seven days early on top of other sweet benefits and help us pay our website team. You can sign up at patreon.com slash theepicstorm. The fifth and final round, we are on the play. Sure, this seems fine. Let's start off with an unmask. I'm going to target them, just removing a Troxa. Okay, it's initiative again. We'll discard the Caves of Chaos Adventure. Go grab a Badlands. Faithless Looting. Did not draw a land off that. And I think I'm going to unmask, just leaving myself needing to draw a land. We'll take the Fable. We have 13 lands in the deck, 50 cards. We have four copies of Lotus Petal, four Dark Ritual. That's a lot of hits. That's... Just under 50% that I can think of. They drew another fable. Thought sees bug. Okay, come on, Doc, please. That'll do. Reanimate targeting Archon of Cruelty. We drew the land. Love to see it. Walking Ballista was discarded, and uh Alright, we're one game away from finishing with a positive record. That's what I want to see. The initiative. I think we want the Serenities, Wear Terror, Snuff Outs. Sort of interested in Show and Tell. We'll see how much room we have to board out. I don't love Thought Seize in this matchup. I think you can board out Animate Dead. It's 64. Let's try no copies of Show and Tell. Submit. Good hand. Keep. Leyline of the Void. Not very nice of them. Wow. What a draw. That was huge. City of Traders. 
Trinisphere. I think I'm actually going to let that one go. Because I can fuse the wear chair later and get them both. And if I cast this right now, it doesn't actually help me. The downside is we have to draw one of our lands. We don't actually play that many lands in our deck. Draw for turn. Unmask. Play Badlands. Pass. We need to draw a land. We have 12 of them in 51. I'm going to concede to that. We had a really good hand here, too. So Elite Spellbinder would have made the wear chair cost 5, and it was just not reasonable. One thing I was thinking about um, before we went into that game is I actually think if you're going to do this plan, you should have animate deads in over Exhum, so that way you can reanimate your opponent's creatures when they have Leyline. Yeah, we'll keep. Okay. I'm a black card away. Or I could unmask the Archon right now. Maybe this wasn't a keep. I'm going to unmask them. Wow, what a hand. Turn one Containment Priest. I don't think I can beat this. I could take the Lotus Petal and hope that they get stuck on just two red sources. There's like I was really hoping for a initiative creature here, and there just isn't one. So I think you're supposed to take the Petal. Having double answer in our hand here really cost us. They have the Mountain. And Tomb, that's the card we want to draw here. Let's see it. Reanimate. We have to pass. So that's Trinisphere. Oh, they didn't play the Trinisphere. Wow. Very surprised by that. Giving me a, a turn here. Please, Duck. Oh, wow. Holy moly. We ripped it. Grab the Scrubland. Dark Ritual. And Tomb. Go grab the Gristle. Reanimate the Gristle brand. A7. Dark Ritual. I would feel bad, but our opponent chose not to play Trinisphere, and ultimately it's on them. Looting. Discard, discard. Play Badlands. Enemy Dead Archon. Triggers. Yeah, you discard that Trinisphere. Let it be a reminder that you chose not to play it. Okay. Now we're at a very healthy life total, too. We drew grief. Okay. Pitcher reanimate. Solitude. Removes containment priest. What are you targeting? We'll draw seven. We're going to gain seven anyway. The grief happens. And we went positive. We finished with a three and two record. You love to see that. Uh, we'll open up the pity chest that we got for going three two. I loved the deck list. I really do mean that. I don't take losses to stuff like Grixis Control personally. I think that matchup is a deck where they're supposed to beat you, and it's also a very, 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 very small portion of the metagame. And then in match one, I'd say that the Mono Green Cloud Post decks are probably favored, and we were a single black card away from winning, and instead we drew our fifth land, if I remember correctly. It could have been our fourth, uh, but I think it was land five, which, you know... Odds were in our favor. It just didn't happen. I loved this deck list. I would recommend it to anyone. It was a lot of fun to play. The Atroxa was fine. Uh, it did cost us one game, but then in another game, we were able to put it side by side with Gristlebrand, and that was very helpful. So I thought that was pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have a great day. Keep storming. All that good stuff. Hey, Brand Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.